All right, so we're going to take a look at a job we've printed right off. And you'll see, uh, this is generally what it comes off and looks like. I've cut one of the first ones out for demo, but I want you to pay specific attention to the dullness of the color. It's not very bright. Uh, that's pretty typical. So now we're going to print on this neoprene uh, coaster, and it's kind of soft and flexible. And one of the first things you'll need with this is you're going to have to go look up recipes on the internet for how long to heat set and so this one I looked up a neoprene coaster and you can see there it says we pre-press 385 for 10 seconds and then we apply the design for 385 to 400 for about 55 seconds. Everything you print on is going to have a slightly different uh, time. So now I'm going to come over here and just uh, show you a couple of things that I've done to get this set up. So I told you I had cut out one of these pictures, the other one's still in the printer paper there. And you can see I've cut here to get rid of any of the white around the outside. And I want a picture that's larger than what I'm printing on. So don't be so specific that you uh, have a lot of white around the outside or it's going to look kind of gross as you're working with it. Now, um, one of the things I also want to point out is before you heat set, you're going to make sure you have like a piece of butcher paper or parchment paper that goes down between. As you can see there, the extra ink when heat set comes off. So you gotta make sure that you have one on the bottom, on the mat you're gonna press onto, and a second sheet that's gonna go between your iron or your heat press and your uh, whatever it is you're printing. So you can see that ink is gonna come off, and we wanna make sure it comes off on a piece of paper and not on our heat press or iron, as that'll eventually ruin the heat press and ruin other people's projects as well. So here you can see we're going to use the Cricut Press. The Cricut Press is really easy to use. You can easily set your temperatures and you can also adjust your times. And then when you're ready to go, you just hit the green button. It doesn't take long to heat up. It sits in that cradle. But I want to point out to you that in the room here, there are actually quite a few other heat presses that you can use. So we've got one set up here that is a hat press. We've got one here that's a tumbler press and different sizes of tumblers can go into that. And then we've got a t-shirt press. Now here you can see I'm putting on just a, uh, a little pad and then you scrunch it down. You can see just like the Cricut, it's got heat settings that you need to turn on. You'll want to learn how to use each of these and they have some different attachments. So for instance, if you're uh, going to put something on pencils or you're going to put it on some sort of a plate, um, you can use the different attachments and so each of these will be unique and also be mindful this is hot stuff you're working with so you have to let them cool off and you should maybe even think about using uh, some of the heat protective gloves that are available here. All right so I think we're ready to uh, just about go over and, and get everything squared away and set up but before we do I want to point out the heat transfer tape. One of the most frustrating things about this is when you set an image You've got your, your substrate you're going to heat press onto. And what you want to be really thoughtful about is it's not moving on you. So this heat press tape here does not leave marks when you heat it, and that's important. And here you can see I'm just going to roughly do this. You'll want to be much more particular. But you'll want to set this so that when you put that press down or that iron down, it doesn't move on you. And so there you can see that heat press tape is there. It's not in the middle of my print but it does keep them connected. Um, and so that's something important to note as you're working with the product.